Well, you know, from the time we started getting to know him when he was in high school, I mean, he was very serious about a lot of things. He wanted to be a really good football player, uh, but he was very serious about his academics. He was very serious about his future goals to to serve uh, others. And uh, you could just see incrementally throughout his career, he crossed every T and dotted every I. You know, I think he'll be the kind of guy, he'll be a great listener. Um, he'll... Uh, make sure that he follows what he believes in from a policy standpoint. Uh, he'll be data-driven. I mean, he's that kind of guy that he uh, he wanted to know everything about everything before he made decisions. Uh, so I think he'll be very thoughtful, a good, good communicator. I think he'll do a good job working across the aisle in that old phrase, you know, uh, uh, because, you know, he... Uh, he's there to serve the people, and he's not there to serve himself. I think uh, anyone that becomes a first-round draft choice in the NFL uh, doesn't just do it on talent. And anyone that becomes a U.S. congressman doesn't do it just by showing up. Uh, you know, the hard work he put into preparing himself for both things, uh, the hard work he most recently has put in on the campaign trail and uh, getting his message out as to, you know, who he was there for and, He's there for the people, and and uh, he'll be he'll be tireless, and he's just that's his that's his makeup, that's his DNA, and uh, you know he he's got a great story from in terms of his family coming over from Cuba and and all the rest. So uh, I mean he truly uh, gets what being an American is all about. Well, it's just an exciting time for for uh, our country to have a young guy like that uh, who's uh, got the the best interests of the people in mind to be going to serve, you know, in tough times, it's not easy to, to, to serve in Congress. It's, there's nothing easy about it. And, uh, you know, they've got a guy going there uh, for all the right reasons.